Hunting Superstars. This is Professor Don Bush. I've been a professor for about 30 years and a CPA for about that long, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. I'll help you understand it. It's not that hard. Uh, today's lesson is designed for people just starting out in accounting. And maybe it's your first day in accounting or your first week, but the, this is something that you'd learn in your first week. And I, I've got a good way to explain it and uh, you'll, you'll get it. All we have to do, here's the whole objective today, guys, is all we have to do is make sure that the left-hand side over here equals the right-hand side. That's all we have to do. It's really sim super simple. Now, right up here on top here, I've got uh, an equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. Now, this equation is the most important equation in accounting. And here it is, your very first day, and you're learning the most important thing. But it's true. It, it really is. Everything in accounting comes from this. In fact, everything in finance comes from this, too. And um, it's, it's important uh, for any business, any government, and in fact, you and me, personally, as individuals, we've got an accounting equation. We, we may not know it, but we do. So it's, it's really, really good to understand it. It's good, you know, if you want to be good at personal finance and uh, investing, the, this is the thing to know. So memorize it. Just memorize it. That's all you got to do. Now, the the uh, the way I explain the accounting equation, I explain it in a real easy way, uh, you know, in the first day of class. Assets. Assets are nice things to have. That's not a very technical definition, but it'll work for now. For instance, cash is a nice thing to have. Office supplies, if you have a business, that's a nice thing to have. A computer is nice to have. And a car is nice to have, too. And uh, over here on the other side, on the right-hand side, we've got liabilities. Now, liabilities, those are obligations. It's uh, money that you owe, bills, loans that, that you have to pay back. And then finally, we've got equity. Now, equity is whatever's left over. It's kind of, they call it a residual account. And uh, one way that I, I like to describe it is if we rearrange this accounting equation a little bit and said assets minus liabilities equals equity. That's a good way to explain it. Equity is kind of hard to explain, but a lot happens in equity. And, and I'll, I'll show you what's going on here with it. Um, and what we'll do is whenever we enter something in this column here, owner's equity, we'll make a note over here on the right-hand side. So here we go. We've got a brand new company here called Social Media Partners. In fact, they are so brand new that they are starting up today. And what they do is they help other businesses with social media like Yelp and oh, Twitter and um, YouTube, that kind of thing. Any, any kind of social media, Facebook. So here's what's happening. Now, the owner of the business has $10,000 cash in their own personal savings account. And they want to take this $10,000 and put it into the business, invest it in the business. So what's going to happen here is that we'll have $10,000 under cash. And if you notice, I've got something here on the left-hand side. Well, the whole objective is to make a balance. And so we need something on the right-hand side. Now, this $10,000 was not borrowed, all right? It didn't come from a bank loan or anything like that. It belongs to the owner. The owner is investing their own money into the business. This is really very common. So we'll put it right here. So let's see. Let's see if it balances. $10,000 on the left-hand side. $10,000 on the right. It, it balances. Now, if you can do that over and over and over again, you can do accounting because that's all there is to it. Now, I'm going to make a note right here on the right-hand side just to keep track of this, that this is an investment right here. All right. Well, let's suppose that uh, the owner of the business also has a computer uh, sitting at home. It's not being used. And this computer is worth $2,000. It's a pretty nice computer. So the owner is going to use this computer in, in uh, their business. And um, and this $2,000, we'll, we'll put it under here, under computer. Now I've got something on the left-hand side, so I need something on the right again. Now no money is owed on this computer. There's no obligation. They didn't take out a loan. They didn't buy it on credit at Best Buy or anything like that. And But this computer belongs to the owner, and the owner is investing it into the business. So let's put it right over here, $2,000. 
And we'll all call that also an investment. There we are. Let's see here. Hey, let's say that um, the owner uh, goes to an office supply store and buys $500 of office supplies. So here's $500 of office supplies. So I've got 500 on the left. I need something on the right in order for this to balance. Well, let's say that, that the owner bought this on account. That is, he did, did not pay cash, but is buying it on account. And so buying it for, you know, uh, and so the owner owes $500. So let's put it right here. So one more time, purchased office supplies, 500. So the owner now has office supplies worth $500. And the owner owes $500. So look at that. The left-hand side and the right-hand side balance. We're doing great. Now, I'm not going to make a note over here on the side, but I'll only do that when I do things in owner's equity. Well, let's see here. Let's suppose that uh, the owner of the business says, wow, I need a, a car for my business. And I, you know, I need a good one, one that's reliable. And so let's say the owner finds a used car for $15,000 and buys that car. Now, the owner doesn't have that much money, and so unfortunately, the owner's got to take out a bank loan here. Goes to the bank or the credit union and says, hey, I need to borrow 15000 I want to buy this car. And so the bank says, uh, yeah, you're approved. Look, look at your credit score looks good. So 15000 so now 15,000 is owed. So let's see if, if our left-hand side still equals our right-hand side. And if we just check line by line, we'll be good. So let's, let's double check here. I've got 10,000 cash on the left, 10,000 cash on the right. 2,000 on the left, 2,000 on the right, right there. I've got 500 on the left, 500 on the right. 15,000 on the left, 15,000 on the right. So it's all balancing. See, I told you this accounting is not that hard. It's pretty easy. Well, let's suppose that the owner of the business does a job for uh, a business, earns some revenue. Uh, you know, that's when when we uh, claim revenues, when we do our job, when we do our work. And they're in the business of helping others uh, with social media. So let's say that the uh, business owner earns $3,000. All right, so I've got $3,000 on the left. The owner was paid cash. Now, I need something on the right here. Now, the owner doesn't owe anything on this, but this $3,000 belongs to the owner. All right, so I'm going to put $3,000 right here. $3,000. So let's check, make sure it balances. $3,000 on the left, $3,000 on the right. Looking good. And you know what? We're going to call this revenue. Revenue. So what's revenue? Revenue is when a business does their job, when they provide a service or provide a good, whatever, but they do their job. And uh, this business owner did, did his job. So there we go. So $3,000 right there. Now, let, let's suppose that the um, business owner has a, an employee and that employee needs to be paid. And so let's say that the uh, employee earned $2,000. So watch this here. I, I'm going to put negative $2,000 right here, negative $2,000, because this employee is being paid in cash. And I, I know that there's payroll taxes and all that, but let's just keep it real easy. So $2,000 is coming out of cash to pay the employee. So I need to have a negative $2,000 over here on the right in order for this to balance. Negative $2,000 on the left, negative $2,000 on the right. So let's put um, negative $2,000 over here. So let's check if it balances. Negative $2,000, negative $2,000. It sure enough does balance. All right. Now here's what we need to do is we need to put wages expense. See, I told you that every time, any time that I make an entry into this green column here, the owner's equity column, I need to make a note. And later on, you'll see why I'm doing this. So it balances so far. Let's see here. What else could we do? Let's suppose that um, the uh, business uses up 
$300 of office supplies. So $300 of office supplies are used up. So I'm going to put negative 300. The reason why is we're using them up. You see, when we bought the office supplies, I had a positive 500 up here, but now we're using them up. So we're, we'll put a negative number here, negative 300, we're using up office supplies. Now, whenever you consume resources, or you know, uh, when our workers work for us, for example, whenever we consume resources, it's an expense. So I've got negative 300 over here on the left. I need to have negative 300 over here on the right. So let's put negative 300 here. And what we'll do is we'll call this supplies expense. There we go. Let's double check. Make sure this all balances. Left hand side equals the right hand side. There we go. All right. Hey, well, let's do a tricky transaction here. This one's going to be a little tricky. All right. So let's say that the workers or worker workers, maybe the maybe they have more than one employee now. Let's suppose that the workers uh, need to be paid and they earned twenty five hundred dollars. OK, twenty five hundred dollars. So our workers need to be paid. But here's the catch. They're not being paid in cash, all right? So we can't put anything under cash. Uh, they, they just haven't been paid yet. That's, that's the deal. So here's what we need to do is we need to recognize that we owe the workers 2,500. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put 2,500 right under wages payable. So what that means is this is a liability. It's an obligation. The business owes the workers $2,500. So we're putting it right here. Now, the last time the workers earned money, we called it wages expense. And it was a negative number. Look at that, negative 2,000. So let's do the same thing again. Let's do the same thing. Let, let's put negative 2,500 here, all right? Because they earned 2,500. So let, let's see here. I, I'm gonna, since I entered something here, I'm gonna write it down again. Wages expense. But let's see if the left-hand side balances with the right-hand side, because that's what's really important. So let's see here. There's nothing over on the left-hand side. Shouldn't there be something on the left-hand side? Well, let's look at the right-hand side. I've got a positive 2,500 on here under wages payable, and then I've got a negative 2,500 under equity. Look at that. They kind of balance each other out, don't they? They net each other out. In fact, if you had a positive 2,500 and combined that with a negative 2,500, what do you get? You get zero. So essentially, we have zero on the right-hand side. And you know what? If we leave the left-hand side the way it is, um, it'll be zero also, right? So zero, zero, kind of, it balances, it balances. Well, let's do one more transaction, okay? One more. Let's suppose that uh, the car, um, Let's see here, what about that car? Uh, let's see here, how about this? The car needs some gas, all right? <laughs> That's something pretty common, right? And uh, fortunately, gas prices have been pretty kind of low for a while, but I, they're kind of creeping up a little bit. So let's suppose that this car needs $30 of gas. And this, this is all for business purposes, all right? So, so uh, let's say that they pay out $30 for gas. Now I wrote that as a negative number because uh, the business owner is spending money, right? Not bringing money in, but spending money. So I'm gonna put it as a negative 30. Now I'm not gonna put it under car, but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it over here as equity. So I'm gonna give you a hint here. Gas expense, all right? Whenever you consume resources, it's an, it's an expense, and we're consuming some gas here. Now, check this out. Check this, see if you see the pattern here. Anytime I've had an expense, it's been negative. Look at that, wages expense, negative. Supplies expense, negative. 2,500 for wages expense, again, negative. Well, guess what? This gas expense is gonna be negative. Negative, $30. Now let's double check and make sure that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Well, I've got a negative 30 on the left and a negative 30 on the right. Yeah, look at that, lefties and righties equal. 
they're, they're the same. So good, it looks like we're doing a good job. And and if we wanted to just double check, make sure we did this right, we could go back through it one more time. But we, we won't, but you could go, okay, I got 10,000 on the left, 10,000 on the right, 2,000 on the left, 2,000 on the right. And you can double check, it's a good way. Now, what we're going to do now, though, is we're gonna double check another way. Very simple, what we're going to do is add up these columns, okay? And actually, I've already got them added up. I just gotta make the print so you can see it. So if we add up cash, it would add up to 10,970. And I, this is the uh, computer at Excel doing this for us. So if we total up this column, that's what we get, 10,970. Well, let's uh, add up the column for office supplies. Well, there, $200, because if you have 500 minus away 300, you get 200. And then the computer, if we add that column up, we'll have $2,000. And the car, we'll have $15,000. So there you go. So let's go over here to the uh, right-hand side. Let's add up those columns. Well, accounts payable, that's easy. 500. Wages payable, that's easy. 2,500. See, I told you this accounting is not that hard. Uh, bank loan payable, 15,000. There you go. Now let's add up the owner's equity. Be, be sure uh, to, uh, you know, make sure you keep your positive and negative numbers straight here because there's some negative numbers in there. So there we go. So add that up 10,117. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to add up all the asset totals and we're going to add up all the liability and equity totals and see if they're the same. So I had the computer already do this. So let's add it up, 28,170. That, that is if I added up these grand totals highlighted in blue here, equals 28,170. And again, I had the computer add it all up for us in advance. So 28,170. So if we take all these things, totals down here, it adds up to 28,170. And turns out the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. Now, in accounting, uh, th there's a name for this. When we check to see if the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, we call that a trial balance. And it's really important because we got to make sure everything balances. And that's because of this accounting equation up here. It, folks, it is the most important thing in accounting. Learn it. Memorize it. Learn it today. It's easy. And even if you can't dis define assets eloquently, nice things to have. Good enough for now. Liabilities, bills you owe, obligations. Equity, it's kind of what it, whatever's left over. That's how I think of it. All right, so there's your very first lesson here, folks. I hope this helped you out. And now, hit that like button and that subscribe button because what it does, it tells YouTube that you guys like this stuff. And, and uh, when you're searching for help on accounting, these videos will come up, all right? So hit the like, hit the subscribe button, it won't hurt. It's free. There's no charge, okay? Just just do it, all right? And uh, there you go. And, and so uh, let me know in the comments what topics are giving you a bad time, and I will make a video to help you out. So uh, glad you're here. Also, I've got a webpage, accountingsuperstars.com. And on that webpage, I've got all my videos lined up and, by topic. So that way, if you're looking for a certain topic, you might be able to find it there. So check out accountingsuperstars.com. So until next time, over and out.